Hello everyone. I uh, just wanted to make a quick uh, impromptu video here tonight uh, after I had just shipped out my very first batch of uh, Philobates terribilis tadpoles to uh, the fellow Frogger in Pennsylvania. Um, and you know, while I was doing this whole process, uh, you know, I, I never, I, I couldn't find any specific videos or how to's on, on shipping tadpoles specifically. So I just wanted to throw a very quick video together, uh, showing you the steps that I took that I, that I found from doing some research on the, uh, the various, uh, you know, websites themselves that handle the booking and, and creating of labels as well as what I, I learned uh, talking to some individuals that have shipped uh, tadpoles themselves. So, I'm going to get started here. Uh, first thing you're going to need is a box. Now, there are several companies that offer services as far as shipping uh, live animals go. Uh, there's Reptiles Express, uh, Reptiles to You, I believe it's called. Um, yeah, Reptiles to You and uh, Ship Your Reptiles. Uh, for the ones I shipped out today, I ended up using Reptiles Express. They're shipping on this specific day ended up being a couple dollars cheaper than the competition, so I went ahead and went with them. Um, but regardless of who you use, they require you to use uh, specific items when you ship in order to um, be compliant with their insurance. Uh, one being they have specific boxes rated and approved with FedEx, as well as different heating sources and cooling sources, um, and just different uh, specifications and whatnot uh, that you need to take when shipping live animals. Uh, I recommend you going to their websites to um, read up on those specifics. Anywho, um, so basically in talking to others, you know, I asked you know, how they go about shipping their tadpoles uh, the two main answers I saw were they would use basically fish bags from the fish industry or uh, water bottles to transport uh, as the main vessel, I guess you could say, for holding the tadpoles while they're in the boxes during transit. So um, you can either buy these fish bags online, found a plethora of them on Amazon, or you can stop by your local uh, pet store happens to sell fish, fish store, aquarium, whatnot, and that's what I ended up doing. Uh, asked if they had any for sale. Uh, the guy there was a, a really nice guy and just asked me, you know, how many I needed, and he went ahead and just gave me four for free, so um, chances are that's what they'll likely do, but, you know, if you find yourself selling a lot of tadpoles and shipping a lot of tadpoles, I suggest going out and buying yourself, otherwise your uh, local fish store might get... Uh, tired of you showing up and asking for free bags um, so well, on top of the bags basically what I did was filled this about a third of the way up with uh, the water that the tadpoles have been uh, being raised in and basically cinched it up top twisted it and threw a rubber band on it made sure it was nice and tight um, the reason why you don't want to go fill up too much water is you want to make sure there's still air for the tadpoles to have access to. Um, that, and you want to go ahead and double bag these things. So once uh, the tadpoles were in the, in the bag, transferred over to the bag, rubber band on nice and tight, I went ahead and slipped a, another bag on top of it, put a rubber band on that as well, and then I also taped uh, those the remaining you know, flat part down. Um, basically the second bag act, acting as a backup in case the first one springs a leak. Um, after that, I went ahead and placed some newspaper down in here. Um, you can buy uh, box liners as well. I didn't opt to do that this time, but basically that those, those would protect the box should there be a leak um, from basically uh, melting on you and getting soggy and destroyed so my theory is you know if it gets to that point um, you're probably hosed regardless so anyway um, next since 
So I'm in Omaha and I'm shipping out tonight, uh, tomorrow, tonight and tomorrow lows of mid thirties, uh, highs st still below 60. Same with the destination I'm shipping to, um, shipping to Pennsylvania. So, uh, rainstorms along the way. So it's going to be plenty chilly. So I went with the heat pack and what you're going to want to do with those is you're going to make sure you have the 40 hour plus heat packs. If you use your regular old hand warmers and your animals arrive dead on arrival, you will not get paid out. So use what they require. Uh, so what, else, what you would do, I punched a hole through the middle here. And when you open this up, there's a red line down the middle and that can't be covered up. It needs to be um, unobstructed so oxygen, oxygen can get to it and um, make sure that heat gets um, conducted and output. So you put tape on the outsides there. Make sure the red side, red line, again, is facing out because when you place this down, the red line's gonna be facing the animals. Now you wanna make sure that uh, the container that your animals are in, in this case, the bag is not making direct contact with the heat pad. So what I did was, so newspaper, um, bag of tadpoles, newspaper on top of that, and then the lid. Now also, I also sandwiched in next to the bag, in between the newspaper, a cryo pack. And basically what this does is it goes back and forth between solid and liquid, uh, maintaining a, I believe it's 71 point something or other degrees Fahrenheit um, in your container. Make, keeping it a nice room temperature. So what I did is I heated it up to where it was um, started to turn liquid, but there were still chunks hanging out in there. Added that in and then put the, lit, the newspaper and then lid on top of that. Um, and then once you've done that, you just tape everything up nice and secure, slap your label on there. Um, and actually what I do as well and recommend it before you tape it up once you have this on here have a backup label placed on top of there in case something happens to the original label on the outside tape it all up and get it ready to go there are some additional things you want to add to your box such as this sticker here a lot of this um, comes with a label once you print it off with whichever company you use. Additional one here where you're basically adding the common scientific name and the quantity of animals in the box. Uh, this is my Peru that I got a while ago. That's what that looks like. But yours will be blank and you just make it out to whatever is applicable to you. All right, well, that comes to the end of this video. Again, these are the very basics of shipping tadpoles. Um, if I end up uh, shipping any more out here in the near future, I'll make sure to try and get a video of that uh, so you can see it in action. But uh, I hope this helped anybody else that are uh, looking to ship out tadpoles and everyone stay safe out there.